Okay, hi everyone, this is Yana. You can call me Yana. This is a video on me explaining how I design characters or just do concepts for characters. Um, I did this video a long time ago for this design specifically for I believe 2021 and I don't really like the video anymore because obviously it's a little bit outdated. I clearly was nervous, clearly didn't know what I was talking about. I even think I said that I should script my videos or something because I just get so lost in thought, but um, I did not do that still. <laughs> so, um, but I just wanted to do it again because Miku Expo 2023, the contest has ended for that. And um, I did some designs. I did three designs actually. So with all the Miku Expo design character contest that Miku Expo has done. I think I've made a total of five, if I'm correct. And I just wanted to go through all of them in one video instead of making like separate videos. Yeah, I don't want to keep you here too long because we got like five designs to go through. But you'll notice that over time, I don't really put too much work into it sometimes because I feel like it's a lot of work, even though I do enjoy it. But uh, we're going to start with 2021. Okay, so usually for my design, I always want to start off with some sort of notes that I can always go back to or just jot down some things that I think about when I'm designing something. So this was done specifically because I already had the song. So they already released the song for Miku Expo for their song contest um, before the design contest. Um, so I had something to kind of reference off of, which is really good. So the song Thousand Little Voices by Vault Kid and Flanger Moose. I even wrote down to make sure I'm listening to the lyrics and kind of figuring out what the meaning of the song is and just have some general main thoughts here. Uh, by the way, I'm also using Clip Studio Paint just in case if I need to just like write things down. So what I kind of got from the song was finding peace, the idea of a horizon. I think in the lyrics, if I can remember, they talked about getting to a horizon or something. I haven't listened to the song in a while. If the song's not bad, it's just, it's been a while. <laughs> um, so this is just kind of from memory. Uh, but I had this feeling of like wanting to get to the horizon, wanting to feel free. The song, ki song kind of felt very warm to me. I also wrote down, well, I also have things like listen to your heart. So that's just kind of what the idea I had, like what I thought the song meant or whatever. And I also wrote down here, not a song Miku would dance crazy to. I also wrote down digital. I think that was in the reference to the fact that it was going to be like an online Miku Expo thing. So again, this was a couple years ago, so I can't really remember exactly what I was thinking about. But specifically here, it says not a song Miku would dance crazy to. The song wasn't very just like EDM, like you know what I mean. It wasn't just like a like a club banger or something. Um, it was kind of a calm song. So I would want to design the character so that it kind of reflects the calmness of the song, if that makes sense. So when I first hear that, I'm thinking maybe not very loud colors, maybe? That'll be like one of the first things I'll think about. So as we go through the sheets that I've made, I will show what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I should, I should probably write scripts for these things. And I just drew a picture of Miku just to have a little fun with it. So we're gonna move on to first concepts. So this is my first concept. And by the way, this is a little old, so don't judge my skills here. So I just kind of jotted down some ideas of silhouettes pretty much. Hence why this is in grays and blacks. I kind of want to get an idea of value before I just jump into color or just jump into the con um, concept and just get an idea of shape as well and creating shapes while also kind of thinking about the song at the same time. I don't know, it's a little weird, but I'll kind of explain what I'm talking about. I just kind of did a little design here of Miku with like this trench coat thing, turtleneck, um, just, you know, throwing it out there. For me, concept is just like throwing things at the wall, see what sticks at this point, especially in the early stages. We also have this picture of Miku's head with this flower earring or maybe a sun earring so i was just kind of thinking about the song at that time we have this concept of like a clown miku i guess which definitely something i wouldn't do for this song but i just put it there anyways just to have it there if i need to go back and kind of look at concepts and see what else i can add on when i'm closer to finalizing the concept we have this miku with like a little puppy sleeve and short hair we have this miku with like this I don't know, just like a bag on her torso. There's a name for this, I forgot what it's called. 
you know how like people take those waste bags um, and then they can throw it over their torso? I don't know. But basically nothing really much is happening here. This is first concept, so I don't really expect anything anyways. Then we are going to move on to some more. So we have something a little bit more funner with like this more open shoulder vibe. Again, just trying to figure out a nice silhouette that is like appealing to look at. Um, we have this kind of braid moment. I, I really like the I remember I remember I really like the braid for a little bit. Uh, just some classic Miku sleeves, but a little bit more rounded and I just I guess a vest here with like a cropped undershirt underneath or something like that. Um, this idea with a beanie, which I don't think I would go with because it's, I don't know. I just put it there just for the sake of putting it there. Um, a bucket hat. And then we have this bigger Miku here with a big ponytail. Uh, again, putting in that sun concept. I believe it was a sun. Um, back into this sheet to just kind of like try and somewhat funnel out what I'm trying to figure out here. And then we have this kind of asymmetrical skirt with like this really big flowy cardigan, I guess. And okay, this is ugly. <laughs> and so I just like, I don't know, I just, just made this portrait because I thought I was really gonna go for the big side ponytail here. So I just kind of try to finalize it a little bit, just kind of see what it looks like a little bit more polished. And we got some other concepts here. Um, we kind of got the asymmetrical skirt here going on still. Uh, but with a little bit more of an interesting top and like a big kimono sleeve on the side here. Some classic thigh-high leggings. We even got just kind of like a simple, I wouldn't say jumpsuit, maybe a cat suit. I don't know, I'm not too versed on clothing names. Um, we also have this kind of cape moment. This idea of like a sun pattern in the shirt here. And then we also have this concept, which it has like these big puffy sleeves here. And I wrote down here, hard to rig. So when I put that in there, I'm kind of thinking about the 3D modelers and what they have to do to create the concept. So that's why I wrote down hard to rig. I'm looking at this shirt and I'm thinking they might not even consider this concept with a shirt like this, even though it does look cool because they're not going to go through the work of actually trying to figure out the logistics of making it work, I guess, like just rigging it, putting the physics on it, making sure nothing is like clipping on to each other really bad. So I put it there just to like have it there for me for reference when I need to, you know, figure out the concept. I feel like I'm using a lot of unnecessary words here. I'm sorry, <laughs> but that's something you kind of have to consider. Maybe not just like for Miku Expo, but like if you are getting into that type of work. I think I should remind people that I am not a professional. I am very passionate about designing things, but I don't have any degree or work in any field where I'm doing this all the time. I'm just like a hobbyist. But again, this is just how I think when I'm doing concepts, especially for Miku Expo. I think the hardest part about doing Miku Expo concepts is that you don't have direct contact with the 3D modelers all the time. Um, so you're just gonna have to guess and think what they are comfortable doing and have it also be appealing at the same time, you know, catching their eyes like as fast as possible. It's hard because if you are in a company and you're doing this, you're always constantly talking to your coworkers and just like brainstorming with them and they get to see that and you get to work with your 3D modelers and see, hey, this is the concept we have. Do you think you can do this or like stuff like that? So. Yeah, again, with Miku Expo, it's really hard to kind of figure out what they're willing to do, I guess. Um, maybe willing is not the right word, but I think if you haven't done any Miku Expo contests, they do emphasize that they will remove things if they feel like it's just not necessary for them to do. And if you put a lot of things in the design where it's just too much that they need to get rid of, they won't like consider it. So again, back to this shirt here, it's just too much. They're probably going to have to break like this this is probably a brand new mesh for them that they have to make fresh. They're probably, they probably want to pull out of assets and not make a lot of fresh stuff, which a lot of people I feel like talk about when Miku Expo character concept things come around, that they feel frustrated that they just want to do something in the more easier way. As someone who does a lot of concept and kind of sees what like those companies do and stuff, it's kind of understandable because I guess in a way it is kind of a work smarter, not harder kind of thing. But I think it's a hard thing to realize that, yeah, they don't want to do something insanely 
intuitive, you know, especially again, you're not going to have communication with them for the whole time. They're just going to take what they see clearly. They'll do that and they'll move on. So this is me finalizing things now. And now I'm doing more uh, full body standing images. And I'm still kind of using the concepts that I used in the in the last spreads and like putting them on kind of almost haphazardly just to see if again things kind of work just throwing things at the wall again to see what works so the first concept again we're sticking with this huge ponytail here and just figuring out different types of bangs that i can work with again just like concepts that you probably just saw um, I would say the one in the middle is kind of cool. Very simple silhouette. I guess the one on the right looks cool too. But nothing is really sticking. It's just kind of like these clothing items are kind of cool separately, but putting them together is kind of hard. Moving on to the next concept. So I really like the asymmetrical skirt thing here. Um, so I wanted to elaborate that. But instead, I decided to just go with the classic Miku pigtails. I don't know what got me to think to just completely move on from the side ponytail, but... Yeah, I also kind of did like similar bangs here. I like the idea of more of a kind of like short straight bang and then like long, almost like a squared shaped bang, I guess. I'm just doing more form fitted stuff because um, personally that's kind of what I like when I'm designing. I feel it's, it's also a lot more appealing, but just looking at the black and gray example on the left side, I'm, um, I'm kind of liking how this looks. Um, I'm kind of like blurring my eyes too and I'm just kind of seeing the values and I really like how the values are like. The one in the middle is very fun, but now that I kind of look at it, probably not the best concept. Again, I'm thinking about the 3D models and like what they want to rig and this might be too much. There might be a lot of clipping on the bottom here with the giant skirt here. And then I wanted to do something similar to the left side, but emphasize that kind of sun design here. Um, Maybe do something a little bit more Miku silhouetted. So again, something still like tight to the skin, but has that flair that's going on here. And that classic Miku collared shirt. Um, I do really like how this looks, but I think this is the one I definitely like sat on the most because I just liked how the silhouettes on the left and the right side looked. And then we have, I believe this is our last one. This is our last standing image, unless I'm completely wrong. <laughs> but... Again, kind of emphasizing on the left side, I decided to kind of do the same thing as this one right here that we just saw, but just like a poofy sleeve instead. Um, again, with the collared shirt, do that again. But this time it was like a bigger skirt. And I'm also looking at the skirt and probably didn't want to do it because it might be too, too interesting of a pattern. And again, they probably don't want to make brand new meshes. So this was probably wouldn't be something that they would do. It's a very nice concept though, it's very nice. In the middle, something a little bit more casual, but I didn't really like it. Again, even though I'm kind of filtering into this um, finalized concept, I'm still adding things that, hey, maybe I'll do this or whatever. I'm still like adding different concepts just in case. And I have this completely blacked out like cardigan thing going on. I feel like with these last two, I don't know why I did this. I think it was just for the sake of just trying something out. I feel like these two right here definitely are a no-go. And now we move on to something a little bit more finalized and as you can notice, a little bit more similar to our final Miku. So I wanted to stick to the more something with tights on because this might be a bit more easier for the modelers to do. And But I still wanted something a little bit interesting. So I had this idea of like a poofy shirt here and an undershirt underneath here, still with that sun design. Kind of kept the bangs the same way kind of squared off and then we have something in the middle here that's similar to our final design but I have this sun and cloudy uh, design on the legs here and still the same kind of shirt here that we have here but a little bit more formal I guess with some gloves on and then I just did this I think just to fill in some space it's just like Miku with a bomber jacket with a cat suit on but as you can see in the one in the middle here, I feel like I had something going on here. So this was going to be the final design. And this is the final design for Miku. So I just decided, let me just zoom in here. So I decided to still kind of have something interesting here. So I wanted, 
I still wanted the poofy sleeves, but something to just cut off that shape and put like this t-shirt sleeve here. Again, keeping it cropped. I feel like with like cropped stuff, it keeps the person looking taller. Um, so I wanted to keep it cropped. Just some interesting designs where it's not too complicated. It's like enough design, but still kind of simple enough where it's like, oh, we can like model this very quickly. So, yeah, sorry if I keep mentioning the 3D modelers. Ultimately, that's what you kind of have to think about when you're doing these contests. It's like you have, you can have like the most intri intricate design. If it's if it's too much, they're not going to consider it, right? And I wanted something on the side wrapped around here to kind of have some nice, like interesting flow, I guess. Just having something there to like have it move around, you know, not with just the hair, the clothes as well. And then we kind of put in the design here as well. And I wanted to do the same design, but see what different colors would look like. And I wanted to do this blue and red. And I think I remember I wanted to move on and do something else, but I loved the white so much that I didn't actually go forward with another color because I just really liked the white. Also, I forgot we also have these tags here because I also wanted to give a tribute to the actual producers of the song, Flanger Moose and Vault Kid. So I wanted to put like a necklace, necklace here also just to add some like interesting accessories so the outfit's not too boring but again interesting enough where it has like some detail to it, you know. But as you can see, we move on to the final Miku. I decided to just go for all black. Um, I remember doing this concept, this fine. I remember doing this final sheet and doing it in white and I was really liking it but that's it was still kind of off so I decided to do black instead which for me it's just kind of like adding me to it I really like having a black outfit so it was kind of like I was making a design for something else but I still wanted to add like a little bit of me to it I don't know if that makes sense but here's the final concept um yeah I still actually really like this concept. As you can see, the spreadsheet was actually kind of messily done. I didn't really know how to do reference sheets like this. I could even see myself that I can, that I'm actually kind of confused about what I'm looking at. And if I was like, um, if I was one of the 3D modelers there, like I wouldn't, I don't really understand like what's going on. I'm pretty sure I also like missed some things too. Like I'm, I guarantee I probably did that or something. I even added this little accessory here in the back but i honestly didn't know why i did that i think i just wanted to add something i think i just wanted to add some detail in there just for the sake of adding detail <laughs> but i can kind of see why they might have rejected it because not only not only is it not very clear and it's a little messy of a spreadsheet as the actual design here with the waist i can see they're they don't want to like spend time actually doing any of that yeah i can kind of see why it's rejected and instead of putting the producers here in the necklaces, I just put Miku Expo 2021, which I'm, that's kind of lame to be honest. But um, I mean, again, like they said, if they don't like a certain thing, they can just like remove it. Um, but I guess they saw so much in this design that was not good that they just completely rejected it. Well, we're, I guess we're just going to move on to 2022. Okay, actually, never mind. It's, it's 2023. I, I completely forgot. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to move on to Miku Expo 2023. So I did the same thing, wrote down some notes uh, so I can get a good idea of what I want to do. I kind of go back into the notes to kind of keep myself focused. So I just wrote down some goals here. And as you can see, these are much clearer notes. I actually like use the writing system here in Studio Paint. So here are some of the goals I wrote down. I wrote down be aware of clipping. So again, just being aware of my design and making sure that it's not gonna be a problem for the modelers. I also even wrote down here, which by the way, I probably wrote this down wrong, but <laughs> I wrote down here again, consider possible presets. So just be mindful that they want to probably want to use some presets. Um, again, when I say presets, I'm talking like just taking things from other models that they did so they don't have to make brand new meshes. I also wrote down that I wanted to be simple and it says here, it's about dancing. So the song is very fun, bright, colorful, especially since the theme is toy box and I wanted to keep it simple so that it's something that Miku can dance in very freely um, and kind of reflect the song. I even wrote down here, the toy box concept is a lot, simmer it down. So 
they have again they had the themed toy box but in a toy box you can have like a lot of things in there a lot of type of toys so i'm just telling myself to kind of maybe choose a one toy to kind of just focus on so i can have like a more focused design <laughs> i wrote down here think about at least two colors so again so i'm not like overloading myself with how i want things to be i guess lack of a better term and in, in concept work they usually call you a visual problem solver so i wrote this down you are a visual problem solver narrow it down what's the problem what's the tone setting What's the main focus? And I wrote down here with exclamation points, research, research everything. And then I wrote down here, toy box. So I just wrote down the theme here and I put some notes of what I'm thinking about. So when I think of the toy box, I think lots of fun. It has everything you want. There are colors. It's magical. It's comforting. Even though it says it, ha even though I said colors here, I, again, I was like, I, ha I, I can't just go over and over the colors. Let's just keep it simple. And right away, I did a teddy bear concept because personally, teddy bears are like my favorite toy growing up. And I wanted to choose the binary colors because I feel like with, with binary colors, it kind of reminds me of like uh, like child toys and stuff like that. So like very simple colors, you know what I mean? I even wrote down here these like shapes here. Uh, I, think, I think I wrote here shape language. So the shape language, I wanted it to be round. So you can see I have a circle here. I have this X here, which is a rounded X. So even if I am doing something where there should be like a sharp corner to it to not do a sharp cor corner and just like round it out. Um, so those are my no notes for Miku Expo 2023. I think they had the song released for this one. I don't remember. The theme here was a lot anyways. So personally, I like to have a theme that is a lot so I can simmer it down instead of having a theme that's so like full of nothingness that I have to like try to reach for things or figure something out, you know what I mean? So we're gonna go into these silhouetted, boring stuff here, but it's necessary, right? It's necessary. Sorry, I was like drinking some water. So right away, I'm doing this teddy bear idea. So I want something big and poofy, uh, big poofy pants, but kind of cut it with something slimmer here. I have some interesting shape going on here. Uh, some very round mittens, again, to just emphasize the round shape language. And then Miku's long hair, of course. I also did this concept, again, something a little rounded, but with a skirt. Again, just throwing things at the wall. This idea here, I'm not sure what I was going for here, but whatever was coming into my mind, right? And then I went into the standing images right away, which again, you're gonna, you're gonna see like a theme of me when I'm doing these concepts of me not really doing too much concept work. I think, I think as the Miku concept contest thing was going on every year, I was just getting more frustrated. So honestly, I was putting like less work into making the concept. We're into the standing images already. It's something simple. I was trying to do like a Y2K thing. Don't, don't like how this looks. We have this more clown-ish look here, but I'm just kind of putting this in for like the shapes and not really the clown concept. And then we have like this more elegant, I guess, look here. Nothing really much to say here. Then I got this concept of really don't know what I was thinking over here, but we have this concept here. We also have this concept. Again, as you can see, I'm trying to make something a little bit more poofy or rounder. Um, again, just figure out the shape of things. And then I got to this one on the right here, which I think right away, this was the concept I wanted to do. I really liked the look of it. I also wanted to do something more schoolgirl with Miku when Miku Expo was doing these character concepts. So I just kind of took the chance. Um, and I just added some elements from the last one that we saw here. So like this one here and then put it into here. Um, and I really liked how that looked. So I actually moved that to another page and just emphasized it a bit more. But this time it's going to be a little bit more funner. It's, I don't think I'm at this point, I'm not like doing the schoolgirl thing anymore. <laughs> so I did some like funner colors here. I did some makeup. And I was really liking how the, I guess, turquoise is. I don't think this is turquoise. It's just like a very bright blue, I guess. <laughs> Sorry if I'm like rushing through these. We have other <laughs> designs to go through. I don't want to make this video too long. And so right away, I went into the bear concept that I just did here. And I was trying to do the same thing, but put different things on it. So we have one where the sleeves have the bows on here. 
There's a tie here, a loose shirt, um, and these poofy sleeves. And then I was thinking, okay, what if well, what if it was a bow instead? Still keep the bows here, but it was actually a cropped shirt. Still keep the skirt, but maybe it's like knee pads. The knee pads add a nice detail. And then I was like, oh wait, well, what if the knees were actually open? And the bow was actually on the back here. Still keep the bows here. And I still really like the bow, so I just like moved the bow. And then I did it again, but this time I wanted to do something with the pants. So I did like big poofy bloomers here. Um, I still want to do the skirt idea and I just moved it onto here. And then I did this idea of a more asymmetrical skirt with like a frilly design here. And I added red for the tongue of the boots here. And as you can see, my final design looks a lot like this concept right here on the right. So I took that design on the right, moved it onto a next page, and I was like, let me emphasize this a bit more. So I really like the top here. I rem removed the bows on the sleeves and I just put it on the side. Also, I didn't mention, I also put little, I don't know what these were called, like throw rings. Yeah, I don't know what they're called, but like they're the old toys where you just like, it was just like the red, the yellow, and the blue rings and you just like throw them in, but it was like for kids. So even though I wanted to do a bear design, I still had to think, oh, it's a toy box theme. So let me just add like another toy somewhere. And so I just put those on her wrist here. Um, we were talking about the socks, right? Yeah, so I wanted to emphasize the socks here. So I did a poofy sock where it's just kind of just over the knee, but then I like the and then I tried like something a bit more asymmetrical and then I tried a regular sock, I guess. And then I decided to do more sock designs, I guess. I mean, I was not really feeling the socks and I wasn't really sure what to do. I also forgot to mention that I added some yellow stitching around just to add some nice detail around these uh, this shirt here. I was actually so confused to the point where I, where I kind of sent a video of me showing this concept to my friends and wasn't sure like oh what sock should I go for and a lot of them actually did really liked this last one here which I actually kind of agree I think before I sent the video I really liked these socks on the right here the far right but um I wasn't really uh sure so I just kind of sent like hey which ones do you guys like the most they really like the ones on the right so and then we have my reference sheet, which I feel like the design is really good, but I just did not do it justice with this reference sheet. At the time, I really did not know how to do things like this. I didn't know how to do a reference sheet. And I think this is the point where I just stopped doing the radiant background here with the gray. I just, I, I have nothing, there's not, I don't think there's anything wrong with this design. I mean, I still really like it, of course. I think I just did not do it justice with this reference sheet, considering that this would be the the thing that they will see to determine if they wanted to put the design in. Since this was the thing that they were going to see, you know, like they're not going to see all my sketches, but they're going to see this. And I, I don't think I did the, the design justice. Um, I also added in like these little frilly designs here. I don't think I mentioned that. Yeah, and I forgot to mention, I, I didn't even notice, but like I was on the third concept, I just, I added these uh, early designs here. But honestly, this is kind of ugly, so I understand why they put in. Also, I think maybe the skirt might have been too much. The skirt was a little bit too much the rig, I guess. The boots are a lot too. The socks may be an issue as well because the bows are on the back. That there might be some clipping issues. But um, after, after making this, I also made a full standing image right here. Also, see see how it makes like the design much better. Um, I was actually planning to do these type of illustrations for all of the designs, but I just kind of got lazy. I, I wanted to do it before I made this video so I can like put it in the thumbnail, but I think I'm just going to use the standing images, the reference sheets. But yeah, that's uh, Teddy Bear Miku, I would call her. Last Miku, I don't know if I mentioned it. Last Miku, I called her Horizon Miku. This one is called Teddy Bear Miku. And now we're gonna move on to next year is Miku, so 2024. It's still 2023 now. Jeez. <laughs> we're now gonna move on to 2024 Mikus, um, which I've made three of. I made three designs for. But as you can see here, I started off with just doing concepts first thing, because to be honest, at this point, I was getting kind of frustrated. You can even see on Miku's expression here. She's getting mad here too. <laughs> um, but I was like, you know what? I just, I just need to get this quick. Get this done and just like not think too much maybe that's the reason why none of these designs are winning because i'm just thinking too much and just kind of go in and not think about anything 
So we're doing some standing images here. Again, thinking about silhouette, form. And here's the thing. The theme of this Miku Expo was universal positivity, which to me, honestly, is such a dry theme. And I could not get anything out of there. Like, I can literally put Miku in regular clothes and it would count. So like, what's the point of me making a concept? I don't know. It was just such a unexciting concept and I didn't even release like a song with it, like a song before. So like I, I had, I pretty much had nothing to bounce off of pretty much. Like what do you, like I didn't know what to do. Like it's such a broad theme. So I kind of had to make like my own themes and my own head to just kind of help me figure out the concept. So I just kind of started with designs that did not really have anything I didn't really know why I did it. I just was like, let me just put some clothes on and just make something that looks nice. And to be honest, I do really like this first one here on the far left here. I kind of actually want to use this design for something else. Um, and the middle one here had no idea what I was doing here. This is a design, I guess, that exists. And then I was like, oh, maybe I'll do like an angel design. You know, angels are very like, I guess, People perceive them as positive, you know, I would assume that people would perceive angels as a good thing. So I had this angel design with like a corset look and um, skirt here. And I had this idea of what you see in the final design of this kind of heart shape look. Um, and when I was thinking about the angel design, I was thinking about my favorite Miku design. It was the one sixth gravity design. Um, from Project Diva, and then I decided to kind of emphasize that last design that we did here on the far right and just like kind of do it again, but this time maybe let's just do regular pigtails and I was even looking back at old concepts. So, so again, this is why I do a lot of sketching and I keep all my sketches so that I can reference it if I need them in the future. So here's an example. I think you can recognize this kind of cut off sweater from the first from the first Miku that we saw. And then I'm kind of putting these angel wings here to emphasize the angelness, the angel concept. And I went for a legging design here on the far right with like a short dress with a poofy sleeve, gloves, some long gloves, uh, with a hood. I really like the design a lot. So I kind of moved it on with the next sheet. I wanted to do something darker with this, so I emphasized the darkness. In the middle one, this is a little bit more closer to our final design here. Again, with that heart-shaped, that heart-shaped braided ponytail. I was, I still wanted to put a hood on her, so I put the hood here. Miku sleeves, as usual, very classic, with that kind of shortest dress. And I wanted to add some more interesting shape by putting a cut here. Um, I believe this cut was inspired by Dion Lee, which is a fashion designer and they do a lot of those type of cuts in their clothing so I think I was just like looking at their stuff one day and it's like oh let me like put it in here and I put some like frilliness on the bottom here just to add some nice texture and this legging design here um, which I did not go with because I thought it was just like too much and then I went for a pant design which I really like this design. I really liked how the air looks. Very interesting. Obviously did not go for it, but I did like the, the frills on the side, which I guess is spoilers for the next concept. <laughs> Again, sorry if I'm speaking fast. We got we got to finish this video up. I think it's already way too long. So while I was sitting on this concept, I had this idea for like a 70s look. Because when I was thinking about the palettes, for some reason I was thinking about the 70s. <laughs> um, so when I put down here on the corner here, it says flower power. That's when I got a better idea of what I wanted. As you can see, I put this idea of like a sprout on her head because of the flower part. I again put in the hood here. For some reason I really wanted a hood. I don't know why. And um, again, some like more poofy sleeve stuff you can never go wrong with a poofy sleeve i wasn't really sure what i was doing in the middle here again still emphasizing that heart braid thing but yeah and then i had this idea for the leggings and i obviously really like the leggings so we kind of kept it in the design here on the far right um, i did some other ideas here this little flower design and moved it on to this design here but eventually we moved on to the more final design and that at this point i was thinking about what colors i wanted i i really wasn't sure this like seemed way too like bright so now at this point i'm kind of moving on to doing different palettes and so i had this green idea 
and it had this like really purpley color idea and something a little bit more muted which I actually really like how muted this looks and so I still wanted to do something muted but do more of like not oranges and blues but more like pink yellows and stuff to make it a little bit more brighter and I added some more detail on the sleeves and so adding the detail kind of like helped with finalizing this and then we're gonna move on to the actual final concept so again very 70s looky. I was trying to go for something 70s. I even wrote down here the concept, so flower power angel. So I went for that angel design, but like a 70s angel girl. I'll just like zoom in a little bit on the details. I know we have like a actual reference sheet to look at, but like I'll just show you in the sketch here. So I added this little headband here, which has like a flower design. Some like 70s bangs where it's like very straight. A little earring here, which is it too it doesn't have too much detail to it, but I wouldn't be mad if they removed it from the design. I added a scarf to kind of emulate Miku's tie, so it's like a similar silhouette to Miku. It's still kind of recognizable as, as Miku. Add some like very cute uh, hair pins in her hair. And to add some like interesting detail without being without having it being too complicated. Some like butterfly-esque hair ties, blue eyeshadow. Um, some ruffles in the shirt here, and I really love how there's like this V shape going on. It kind of gives uh, length to Miku, makes her look a little bit taller. Some like sparkly designs, and again, don't want to put too much detail in it. And then we're on to the actual finished reference, which clearly I did a better job at making a reference here. <laughs> the thing is, I loved the sketch so much. That for some reason it, I just wanted to put it in the reference sheet. This is probably the reason why they didn't consider it my design because for some reason I just like put the sketch on the side. I don't know, I just like really like the sketch. And so yeah, we'll zoom you in here. So you can see it's like it's way it's way cleaner than like a lot of my other reference sheets. You do a Miku Expo costume contest thing and you go into the Google form. They actually have a section where they ask you if you want to write anything down about your design. This is an optional thing, but usually I like to write down some ideas. And I remember saying that the favorite part of this design was actually the headband, because not only is it reminisce reminiscence of kind of like that hippie er era of the 70s, they, they wear that little headband, but it also kind of looks like an angel's halo. So it kind of like works in both ways for the angel concept and the 70s concept. Here is the full design. Uh, I don't think I've mentioned it, but we carried on that kind of Dion Lee shirt cut here. Did a little bit of designing on the wing, so it's just like a little bit more, has a little bit more character to it. For some reason, I made the sparkles here like very small compared to like the sketch. Like the sketch has larger sparkles here. I don't know why I made it so small, but you know, they're there, I guess. And then I think one reason I might have not considered my design because not only is it very specific, so it's very, again, it's very 70s. And so if the song that they choose does not reflect the design, they won't consider it. But the I, I can I can see how the leggings might have been something very complicated to work on, especially the flower part here. It kind of even seems that I wasn't really sure how the leggings worked. I just kind of liked how they looked visually on the front. I honestly don't know why I didn't add like a poofiness on the back here, you know what I mean? Let me see if I can... You see how I made this flat when I could have just like done something like this, you know? Just like made it much, like emphasize that, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why I made it really flat. I feel like I should have had some like space on the back there. <laughs> yeah, but they probably just didn't want to do the leggings and the leggings are like a big part of the design. Um, and again, it's a very s specific looking design, very 70s looking. So the song doesn't reflect that, they're not going to consider it, but yeah, I, I mean, I think this is uh, this, this design looks great. Maybe one thing I didn't like was that I put a bow here. I don't know why, I think, I think the reason why I put a bow here was that if, I don't know, so they don't have to clean up the meshes, they could just like hide a bow in between the, the braid and the top of her hair here. I don't know. But now we're going to move on to the second dot design for next year. So here's my second design for next year, and as you can see, it is just one sketch. I just sketched it on one sheet, drew over it over and over again, and tried to figure it out. And I was kind of figuring out the theme for it. I actually did a 
lot of the concept on my phone. I like drew it a lot on my phone before I went onto my computer. Um, but the concept I decided to do was berry cake bunny. That has nothing, which it has nothing to do with the actual theme uh, that they wanted. But because it was Miku's tenth, I was like, maybe let's do something to celebrate her tenth. Which is kind of weird of me to do that because as not again has nothing to do with the actual main theme but here was the concept this was something a little bit more bolder and fun just in case the song they chose was again bolder and fun and here's the final reference sheet i forgot to mention this but i think the reason why i actually put the sketches on the side because sometimes the sketches have a concept in there that i didn't actually put on the actual final design i think uh for the last design that we saw the flower power angel the sparks um, the sparkles were much bigger on the sleeve, so they wanted to make the sleeve sparkle much bigger. Like, that's like also something that they can look at. I get dumb thinking, but I don't know, that's that's what I was thinking. Plus again, the sketch just looked nice and I just wanted to put it in there. But this one, this one took a while to figure out. There's a lot of things in this sketch that I did that did not go into the final one. You can see that I put like some texture in the pants here but that i did not put it in the final concept here but like i said last time the flared pants was something that was going to be like a spoiler alert so when i was doing the concept for this one i looked back at my old concept work and i wanted to bring back those flared pants again why the reason i think this wasn't considered for miku expo was did not follow the theme i mean Maybe don't do a dry theme and I would have a better concept, to be honest. But a lot of intricacies, so just there's some details that they probably did not want to do. Like there's some like chains here that I put here, some necklace designs. Just it looks a little like complicated, so I could see why they wouldn't want to consider this. Again, I, I really like the uh, concept. I'm kind of actually surprised that it turned out pretty nice this one i was definitely very frustrated by so yeah nothing really much to say i guess the actual theme the berry cake bunny theme well there's a literal bunny charm that's here on the side with like a strawberry and a blueberry little design here and the hair was supposed to look like strawberries so the, the hair ties look like the leaves of a strawberry and then she has like the rounded bits which is the actual strawberry part but other than that i don't think it really reflects the theme a lot um i mean i guess you could say the designs on the wrist look like bunny ears but yeah i, I still really like this design and here's our final design this design is called love monster pop star it says on the corner here love monster girl but i renamed it to pop star instead and right off the bat i knew this was not going to be considered but because the submissions were still the contest was still going at this point i was just like whatever let's just make another concept and unfortunately when i made it to the google form the contest was closed so i still technically count this as a design for miku expo because that's what it was so i'm still gonna show it to you but i, I just wanted something really loud and fun kind of reminiscent of early 2000s fashion and then here is the final concept here so again it's very messy and <laughs> I mean it's it's a lot of fun but I just I just did this knowing that they would have not considered this at all there's just too much going on here <laughs> I think if I if I just spent like if I really like worked really hard on this reference sheet I could have submitted it again I knew they wouldn't consider this but I guess it's a very fun Miku design so and I guess that's all the designs that I've done for Miku Expo throughout the years. Um, now I have to wait for 2025, let's say sixth times the charm, I guess. But honestly, I do have a lot of fun making these designs. I, it kind of helps me with my designing process as well when I'm making my own characters. And it's just in general a lot of fun for me because I feel like this concept work is my thing. And a lot of times the Miku Expo contests like really put a lot of energy in me like within the month that i think it was a month i think the miku expo contest thing was like a month but within that month i made like three reference sheets and i don't know it's just i think when you have like a deadline 
it like really like pushes you to like do things i guess but yeah i can't wait for 2025 what the theme might be miku expo people if you're watching make a better theme please okay i need i need something to work off of this was just way too dry of a concept like what do you expect me to do universal positivity like what the hell what am i supposed to do with that it can literally be anything anyone could think of anything that makes them positive and it's not a particular thing like i can literally do anything just like anyways I, it's really late and i'm tired and i want to go to sleep so see ya bye